Well, hello friends, it's Amy Frilici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I have another super cute little treat holder idea for you. Uh, the tag says, you make everything sparkle, which is just kind of a fun sentiment, don't you think? And then we've got lots of other cute detail, and then inside I put a couple of little Hershey Kisses. So it will just kind of, it can stand like that, um, maybe on a place setting or something, or, um, you know, just to give someone as like a fun little treat, right? So I want to show you guys the, all of the products that we used, uh, I think pretty much everything, is from the Follow Your Art suite of products. So in our annual catalog on page 52 and 53, you can see the fabulous two-page spread of all of the fun and goodness uh, that comes in the Follow Your Art suite. And I'm sure you guys have seen this, but I just want to make sure because I love this idea. So the Stampin' Up! did um, these suites where you can get everything in this whole suite. So everything listed on here with one item code and one price. So in very small print, you can see there is the, it starts with art stamp set, the arts and craft dies, the follow your art designer series paper. There's the button, button embossing folder, and then the super cute little follow your art embellishment kit. And then even more good stuff. We've got the follow your art washi tape and the cute little mini shipping boxes. So you can get all of that with the one item code in the suite, the 152181, it's 8775. So you get uh, just awesome. I love that that's just so quick and easy that you can put one item code in and get everything that you want in that suite. Now, if you maybe already have some of these things and just wanna get some extra paper or something, they've got all the item codes listed as well for each of the individual items. Uh, but I just, I love that idea that you can kind of, and then basically when you buy everything in that suite, you can make all of these cute projects. And I've had so much fun lately, basically just casing ideas from the catalog. I mean, if you see this and you think it's cute, why not make it, right? Um, on page 54 is a kind of a bigger um, image of the designer series paper. Hopefully none of, nothing stuck there. Oh, it did. Oh, look at that. Okay, we'll make sure that paper, we need that for our project. Okay, so I think I've got everything now. But here's kind of a closer look at the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper. Just fun, bright, cheerful designer series paper. And then the cutest ever stamp set. That It starts with art stamp set. So you can see there's that stamp that we're using. You make everything sparkle. You've got another fun sentiment. You paint my world with happiness. Follow your art. And then let's stay up late and craft. We can all relate to that, right? So I used a couple of other, the little um, binder clip image and the button image and then this fun little detail piece too so we used a number of those stamps on this project too so let's go ahead and get started and I'll kind of walk you through how you make this fun little treat holder so we've got let's see maybe I'll give you dimensions you don't need many most of it is just scraps of paper but I'll show you this is a piece of coastal cabana cardstock that measures two inches by eight and a half inches and that's what we're going to use to make um, kind of the frame for our little treat so step one is going to be to and I've got my scoring plate here and you guys can all see that okay so we are going to score this at three and three quarter inches on both ends. So I think that's easier to just say that. Flip it around and then do another three and three quarter inch. So you've just got a little one inch section right there. That's all you need to do in terms of scoring, okay? Then we are going to take our new, I think it's called Delightful Tag Topper Punch. And I will include the item codes for everything that we are using on this project in the details to the YouTube video. Okay, so I'm gonna slip this other end in here. You just push it all the way in, make sure it's flush in there. Don't push too hard because you don't wanna rumple your paper, but you wanna get it in there firmly and then press down and look at how cute, isn't that fun? Love that detail that that punch creates. Okay, so just gonna kinda of swipe those out of the way. And then I'm gonna grab, I've got my Coastal Cabana ink. And we're gonna open this guy up and we're just gonna stamp a couple of these cute little, I should move this over here, right? The little button images. We're gonna do one there. And you know, a lot of the detail on here covers up. Uh, so you don't even have to do too much more than that. Just a couple of those cute little button stamps there. 
And then let's see what else we're we gonna do. You know what, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna give you, this is a teeny tiny little piece of that designer series paper, the Follow Your Art designer series paper. So this measures one and a half inches by two inches. And we are gonna put that guy right on there. We can actually even do that right now. And then I won't worry about losing him anywhere else in the shuffle of things. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda add that right along there. Now we're gonna grab our Starburst Punch and I've got a scrap piece of uh, Calypso Coral cardstock. We're just gonna punch that guy out. We're done with him. Then let's see, find some more fun things to do. So we're gonna actually scoot these out of the way. Let's do our stamping and die cutting. So we've got this cute little scrolly image and this is my cheat here when I just need to stamp one little thing. I just kind of open it up. Make sure it lays flat though, the back um, on, on the um, table because you don't want to break it. Okay, so there's that one. Then we've got our Coastal Cabana. This was um, Pacific Point ink too. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Make sure that is flat on your table if you're going to do this. You make everything sparkle, so we've got that one. And then in our Coastal Cabana ink, we're gonna stamp our little binder clip. So nice, easy as always, tap, 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 press straight down and lift straight up. I do not like how that one stamps, so I'm gonna do it again, because I've got some extra. You can see I'm gonna press a little bit kind of in the corner there. And I like that one a little bit better. Okay, now we can do our die cutting. So let me show you, before we do our die cutting, where are those dies? because these, there's no um, kind of good close-up image. These are the arts and crafts dies. So tons of cute um, kind of images and details. I love all of these buttons. Um, we made a card at class recently and used, I think, all of those little button um, dies on there too. So just, these are the pens, you kind of can't tell, and then these are some other kind of, I haven't used these yet, but I'm excited to do that, um, kind of detailed borders, if you will. So let me make sure we are going to use this little guy on there. On our, These are just scraps of crushed curry and coastal cabana. We're going to use, this is like an antique button. Can you see that? I used to have an antique button ring and it reminds me of that. Then our little binder clip, we need that little guy to go on there. And then this little scrolly piece, we're gonna cut on there. So that's all that we used out of these dies. But look at, there's the cute little paper clip too. I think that's fun also. So great die set there. Okay, and then we also need, where are my, my ovals? My layering ovals collection dies. To uh, cut out our sentiment, we're gonna use the smallest straight edge, if I can get that out. So this smallest straight edge is gonna go right on there, okay? So, and again, I'll give you item codes for everything that you um, need to get, to get what you need to make these projects, right? Those will be in the details to the YouTube video. Okay, so we're gonna lay this down here on our magnetic plate, and my plate has been a little bit futzy, so we'll see some of these do have to be lined up well, so hopefully these will cooperate with me, right? If not, I can always maybe um, cut the paper apart because let's see if I move that one. Lesson here, right, and how to get these things all on here. So we're gonna try to just do one run through and like cross our fingers that nothing moves on us. These are not a big deal, there's nothing um, stamped. So as long as they stay on the paper, we're good. I think we are okay. So say a little prayer that nothing wings away as I crank this through here. Okay, let's see. How did we do? I think we did all right. So we've got our oval. The make everything sparkle looks good. That little binder clip popped right out. Maybe a little bit off, but I think it'll be okay. And then this is my favorite. I love, oops, isn't that so cute? There's something about the scrolly that I just love. And then the little button. Can you see how these are popping right out too? And those little holes, I've had I have little yellow, the little button holes. I have those little yellow pieces all over the house now. And then look at this cute kind of can you see a little antique button? Very, very cute. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this out of the way. And okay, I always have to pull this back in so I um, don't mess anything up. Okay, let's get all of these guys over here. 
And I actually, I like to use this little piece sometimes too to add adhesive. This little silicone craft sheet is great when you've got these little teeny tiny pieces that you wanna put adhesive on, especially that one with the little holes, the little button holes. So this way you can run your adhesive and if anything goes through those holes or over the edge, it goes onto this craft sheet and doesn't stick all over your work paper. So it's great because otherwise you get lots of adhesive on here and it gets a little annoying sometimes. So we're just gonna add our starburst right there. Then we're gonna put a little more adhesive on that little label, such a cute little piece. I don't know what it is about that, just the detail. It's kind of just cute and dainty, I guess. All right, we are gonna put a dimensional behind our sentiment. You make everything sparkle. Pop him right on there. And then we're just gonna add these little pieces. So we're gonna put that little antique button right there. And I'm gonna press pretty firmly because I don't want things to fall off. We're gonna tuck that little baby right underneath there. And then one more, we're just gonna add that little button, maybe right about there. So I just kind of felt like it like sprinkled the embellishments around on there. So if you kind of get an idea there, right? Now we've got our um, score marks. So we're just gonna fold in on both of those score marks and we're ready to put our ribbon in. I did not show you guys this. It's funny, I, it should be part of the suite. I don't think it actually is, um, but I love, this is the crushed curry, the crinkled seam binding ribbon. And the idea, honestly, I feel like they, you know, wadded it up like this and then like wrapped it around. <laughs> so you can, you can like make this as crinkly as you like. And it's just, it's supposed to kind of look like that. So it's a nice wispy, fun ribbon easy ribbon to work with. Okay, so we're just gonna tuck that through there. My trick is to always keep the ribbon on the bolt so you um, can pull more if you need more. If you just cut a little strip, inevitably you cut either way too much or not enough and then you're working with a teeny tiny little tail that you're trying to make a bow with. So I think we're doing all right here. But in this case, if I didn't have enough, I could kind of untie my knot and pull a little more ribbon out because I've kept it on the bolt, right? Okay, so, and this is not meant to look perfect. It's supposed to just kind of be fun and whimsical. I think that ribbon allows that. Now, last step, let me find my glue dots, my mini glue dots. We are gonna add our Hershey Kisses. So we are just going to find the beginning of our little glue dots. I'm going to press firmly and sometimes they come off and sometimes they don't. There, now we've got that one. I could tell it was still on there. We're just going to place him. Actually, it's almost easiest if you put him in there and then press down on the table. I was trying to show you, but it's easier to just press right down there. So sometimes it takes a time or two, maybe wiggle a little bit there. Okay, now we've got that glue dot. So we're just going to kind of place this right inside there and just kind of, you know, they don't have to be perfect. People don't really care. They're gonna eat the chocolate and enjoy things. And the fun part is they could eat that chocolate and put a couple more in there. And I always am like into re-gifting, I think. I don't know why, cause it's like, oh, you could make someone smile with this project and then eat the little chocolates and put more in and make somebody else smile and hand it on to the next person. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, cute, fun little treat idea, right? So it stands up perfectly just like that. Um, like I said, all the um, item codes, everything you need to get any of the supplies to make these projects are in the details to the YouTube video. And I will tell you also, if you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I have been doing Facebook Live videos every Friday at 11.30 a.m. over on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook uh, group. If you are not already a member, hop on over there and ask to join. It's an open group, so you can pop on there anytime. Would love to have you hang out with me on Fridays to watch those Facebook Live videos. With that being said, if you order any of the projects that you need or products that you need to make this project, make sure you use the host code from my blog at gatheringinspiration.com because 
on those Fridays, every Friday, if you um, put an order in and use the host code from gatheringinspiration.com, I'll give you the two cards that I demonstrated on Facebook Live and your name goes in the weekly Facebook Live drawing. I always have fun product that I give away every single Friday and your name would go in that drawing. So you'd always get the projects that I demonstrate and you get the possibility of winning the um, giveaway that I do every Friday. So if you need more information, if you have any questions, please let me know. Like I said, I would love to be your demonstrator if you don't have one already. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys were inspired today. Have a great day. Bye everybody.